Bobak for Dalsey was known as the quiet kid in school, always learning. Didn't say much, but knew a lot. His mom says Bobak would go outside to play, but not always with the other kids. If he got the chance, he played with Legos so he could build things. The guy was a sponge. He seemed to soak up everything around him. He was always learning, playing, doing. He attended a Japanese school, which fit him perfectly for his trip to live there when he was 11. His mother called him independent, a rebel. Maybe that's what led him to space camp 20 years ago last week at the age of 14. He wanted to be different. He was different. But this is what made him a household name to millions of people around the world. When Curiosity landed on Mars, the whole world met Bobak and his Mohawk. President Barack Obama even called him the Mohawk guy. I understand there's a special Mohawk guy that's working on the mission. <laughs> <laughs> Bobak's life has been a life of learning. Ask the people he now works with at the Jet Propulsion Lab in California, and they'll tell you he loves what he does. It's really pervasive in his nature just to be very passionate about what we do here at JPL and NASA. Charles Wetzel says it was the Curiosity Project that brought out the very best in Bobak. Uh, I think it's really good to, to, for him to be able to sort of be the face of, uh, of NASA and show a new generation uh, of space explorers, all the, 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 you know, the kind of diversity of people that are getting involved and getting engaged in the activities these days. NASA was the right fit for this creative mind. A love for Star Trek and science fiction, he continued to grow his knowledge of this world and beyond. When the Mars opportunity arrived, he was all over it. Bobak's Mohawk began with a big system test on the Curiosity rover. From there, it just kept going until he ended up with a Mohawk sporting red, white, and blue to celebrate NASA's success. His Mohawk certainly helped Bobak make his mark on the world event, but he did it for the team. You don't go into engineering to get noticed, he told us. His friends will back that up. He's still Bobak, the young man who came to space camp as a child and never forgot his dream his passion. A tribute to his character and his um, passion for what he does is really how he handled it. And oh yes, his friends still have fun with Bobak's national and international success too. Congratulations Bobak, you totally deserve this and I'm so excited to see where this takes you next. <laughs> Can only imagine. Bobak, just have a great time. It's really great that you're being honored this way and uh, just remember those of us that knew you back when. So take care. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we are proud to introduce to you Bobak Ferdowsi, the newest inductee into the Space Camp Hall of Fame.